You, you're saying the men weren't making enough money, so the women had to take the government assistance. Yes. So, but even what? The, even Disagree. wait, 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 oh my wait, God. guys, wait, wait. Sorry. Go so ahead, even 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 then, they had a higher standard of living than most people did in all of human history. So how is it an excuse when you're living better than most people did in all of human history? Okay, so I'm speaking specifically for the black families, mm-hmm. right? And so back then. When Mm -hmm. men were living at home, Mm -hmm. they were not able to be employable, right? Mm -hmm. And so they would leave women. Wait, why weren't they employable? Because they, to her point, everything she said Mm -hmm. is 100% factual, right? Mm -hmm. And if we knew that that was a narrative then, of course, we wouldn't have fallen for it, right? Mm -hmm. But because they were trying to divide the black family, Mm -hmm. they would say men to provide for your family or things like that. We don't want you to be there because we know that you're a leader and the impact of that. So how can we divide that? Mm-hmm. We're not going to give you good qualifying jobs if you're in the home. Mm-hmm. But then the woman, how can I provide and how can I do this mm-hmm. if he's not in the home? Mm-hmm. They would take the government. We all know it's a scam now. Absolutely. But back in the day, that was the reality. To get a good paying job, to try to pay for mm-hmm. your family, be employable, right? Mm-hmm. You thought you had to not live in the household. Mm-hmm. So sure. you agree? Yeah. I, abs- I I wasn't that I wasn't agreeing. Okay. I couldn't elaborate on it, right? I, mm-hmm. And and I, everything she said was 100% so, factual, so right? If, but, but, but listen, though, if you agree, then why would they take that solution? Because it's almost as if Cosmo created this fantasy, but the black women attached themselves to that fantasy Don't we do to it today, overthrow though? the patriarchy. We still do it today. But black men were never a part of the patriarchy. But we're so still what doing were y'all trying today. to be independent from? Listen, I'm not saying because it was right. I can't can go sell. back then and speak so to their mindset. Them, so then hold them accountable. I agree with that. I've always said we should oh, hold women okay. accountable this evening, right? But today we're still doing the same narrative, right? We're mm-hmm. still selling city girls and being out here and being flown out. We're still selling it. Right, 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 and right, women right. are so still I, buying I, it. Yes, yeah, so I have a they question. Who's, whose fault is it for buying it? Exactly. I would challenge one thing that you said when you say that if we all agree that there's 80 percent of women that are out here running the streets and then there's a five to 10 percent of men that are taking advantage of that. I reject the idea that the focus should be on the small percentage of men that are running the streets when we have an overabundance of women that are not acting accordingly. Mm. I would say let's at least get that down to five to 10% of women are running the streets, <laughs> five to 10% of men are running the streets and then look at them equally. But as long as we have the scale so tipped that women are allowing this, yeah. I say, let's clean our own house first before we point the finger. Yeah, yeah. but 